Welcome to Improv Theater. Last we left Mike and Steve. They are pondering their lives working at the Ikea. Steve lives at the Ikea and has sex with many women in the display beds. I, uh, I think I uh, tried out one of those beds once. Meanwhile, Mike has a more normal life with a wife and kids who constantly text him and he can't um, figure out their text because of all the um, emojis. <clears throat> My, what wonderful lives they lead, huh? <laughs> Not unlike mine. Mine is just, you know, boring and, and simple. Let me just take a look at the earlier episodes of Improv Theater and find out. Hmm? Kitty cats are pure evil. Worship the almighty cheese! All hail cheese! Oh. Why are all these Oh, uh, this isn't a uh, flashback. I just like doing this. <laughs> yeah, I'm truly a simple man with simple tastes. So, are Mike and Steve truly happy in their lives? Or can they find something more? Should they find something more? As I've said before, having a dream is fine, but is that dream really what you want? Let's find out. On with the show. Right, bring up other families so I can be happy. Well, I'm not saying that 
saying break up the family, but be honest with the kids. Treat them like a new product. Dismantle them piece by piece. <laughs> Stop thinking as humans as inanimate objects for a moment. I have very limited knowledge of the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Imagine your daughter as a new furniture set. Okay. <laughs> Still in the box? <laughs> you don't want someone to just take out a screw. No. You want someone to put it together right. That's right. Listen to the instructions. Pay attention. Pay attention. Read the English and Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 that, that makes sense. <laughs> You're right. And she's been growing up without instruction. I mean, for all we know, she could just be out there all willy-nilly. <laughs> hey, that's what the kids been saying nowadays, willy-nilly. Trust me, I know my kids. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go talk to her. I feel like if you're gonna talk to her, you gotta clean up a little bit. Be a little bit more presentable. You can't be Ikea Steve. <laughs> Take out the dreads? Lose the, you gotta be more presentable. Shave the green beard? Disappointed in your 
friends. <laughs> Right now, then yes. <laughs> what do you want from me? Oh. There we go. What do you want from me? I told you, I'm done. I'm moving on. Do you gotta move on? All right. I'm I'm going. I'm done. This fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like you, Mike. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live the life. I feel like you're being sarcastic right now. I'm I, what do you, what do you want me to do to prove you over? I'm done. Finish a bottle of beer. Oh shit. Full <laughs> <laughs> <A> bottle? <laughs> My hands are already twitching. What's the last time you drank a full beer? <laughs> Four years old. <laughs> Bartender, hit me. <laughs> hit me. Um, How old are you? Fuck's it matter to you? <laughs> <laughs> You're a scary, tiny person. <laughs> you know, finish it all in one go. Take off the spitty hat. <laughs> Like, I'm not sure I should give you another one. Hey, I'm gonna whip out my Game Boy Color in about two seconds. Hit me. <laughs> well, that's a very old reference. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I kind of feel bad about leaving our kid in an Ikea. <laughs> what if he grows up to be messed up? I don't see how abandonment can mess up a kid. I mean, it's all how you take it. You can't be so <laughs> No, he, he, we come, he comes from a long line of doers. Exactly. You know, he'll finish something one day. <laughs> <laughs> he'll do it. You will. I, I believe you. <laughs> I just had a memory from when I was in the womb. <laughs> in the womb? In the womb. <laughs> They say you can remember things. I remember them driving and doing it. Doers. Doing it. Doers. Doing it. Doers. 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 Hey, pass me that bottle of doers. <laughs> in the new people. <laughs> you know, they, they come in and they try something and it just doesn't work. <laughs> we invite them into your lives and they just fuck it. Disappointed. Up. Disappointed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing we're getting rid of this kid because he could just end up being a disappointment. Yeah, he might be an asshole or all we know. <laughs> Good by myself. <laughs> oh, so cold. <laughs> oh, so, mm, and you know what? Mm, you're gonna drink that beer and you're gonna Uber home. Mm, you're not gonna drink and drive like an idiot. No, that's stupid. That's what mm, some dumb would do. Oh, that's so cold. Oh, I'll have the beers and a beer. Oh, I don't need the Ten years sober. <laughs> we, maybe we should go back and find our son. <laughs> I, I couldn't still be at the same IKEA. 
Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a show every Friday and Saturday at the Improv Collective here. Uh, a big thank you to Autumn and Garen for helping us out tonight. Yeah. A big thank you to Jeffrey Amos for playing with us. Yeah. I'm Robert Stoddard. See you on Big Selfie. And so... Steve left the Ikea, but not before meeting his parents for the first time. And together, they left on a magical unicorn into a land of rainbows and fluffy kittens to live the rest of their lives amongst the normal people. Because I'm, not, I'm sure a lot of us live in a land of rainbows and fluffy kittens, right? That's at least what I see when I don't take my medicine, which is rarely these days. Hmm. So anyway, thank you for watching Improv Theater. I am the Weirdo of Weirdos, and I would like to once again thank the Improv Collective for giving me this chance to bring to you all the wonderful stories that can only be brought about by making it up. Now, if excuse me, I've got something very important to do. Something, something in vital. Something that this world needs me to do. Run, Paris! Run! Woo!